Yes. Me too. Well, here to help us kick off the season in style is mama of two and rustic joyful cook, Daniel Cardis. Woo! It's awesome yes. to see you again. I'm very excited, one, because there's wine involved, but what are we making? We are making garlic butter yes. steak bite sandwiches. Yes. So it's basically like a lobster roll, only with steak, because steak is a lovely, steak is a way of life for me. <laughs> I love pretty steak. Good. Mm -hmm. The Where first we thing we're going to do, I want to talk a little oh, bit about this cutie little steak. So take your guys' steaks out. These okay. are cooked medium. Take your little knife in your dominant hand, Dom and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice this bad boy against the grain, and we're making chunks. What is the chunks. grain? Okay. So the grain, so hold your little steak up, and you're gonna have little sort of sinewy, beautiful Ooh. lines up and down. This is really oh. very technical. Okay. Um, so you look for the Book lines, fans. you cut across them. And what you're doing, you see? Can you kind of see any sort of Can you tell I don't put steak of, very often? It's okay, so put it, it's a ribeye, <laughs> so there's insurance in that. <laughs> Put them down and cut them into a cube. Okay. <laughs> you can tell how much Olivia and I are in the yep. kitchen for this. Yep. Get them into a cube, babies. And it's so nice. You know what? If you don't want to splurge on a ribeye, you can use a cheaper cut. I mean, you can even, you could, a sirloin is great. You can use a round steak okay. to make sure you pound it out and tenderize it. So we're doing tiny cubes? Tiny little cubes. Think okay. bite size. Okay. Mm. Bite size. Okay. So here comes the fun part. So a lot of people just baste a little garlic butter on to the steak. We're not about that life. Not me, I okay? pour it. No, we're not about that life. So once you get your steak cut up, okay. get him over into your pot of beautiful garlic butter. Okay. Oh, yeah. So there is a, literally a little pot of garlic butter right next to you. Yes, there is. And I'm about to, did you just dump it get, all in there? Get into it, girl. Yes, get here, it. put it right in there. Okay. And don't be afraid. I think that so many people are sort of nervous when you talk about cooking steak. So here, get him in here. Look at this. Okay. Toss them all around with the garlic butter. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got some basil over here. So you can tear your basil, or you can oh, use your fire. same knife, ball them all up, stems and all, especially okay. sweet basil because they're so delicate. I love garlic, by the way. Oh, oh my gosh. Me too. If you want to keep the herbs out of here, don't worry about it. So okay. how much of it oh, do you put in so there? Just throw it in there. However much you like, yep. Okay, cool. I guess apparently I like yes. it. Okay, now we're going to take our cutie little lobster-esque lobster rolls. This okay. is not lobster, it's meat though. Well, lobster is meat, but you guys catch the rest. <laughs> okay. So now we're doing what? Okay. Now you stuff your roll. Okay. Oh, shoot. I tore your my... No, everything's fine. I know. Mine fell apart, too. So no, it's okay. fine. It's fine. So this is... So you can actually use them as croutons. Like, if he falls apart, you can pick him up double style like this and sort of, like, get into it. Ooh, okay. Or, yes. Kind of a lot. But because he okay. fell apart, you can literally just take oh the bread... Oh, my God. Bread it's bleeding. And, oh. like, Yum. dump it... <laughs> dunk the bread Garlic into the bread. butter. I love you. So perfect. Yeah. And then we've got some blue cheese okay. and a little bit of butter lettuce over here. Okay. And then just eat it. Oh, and then we just eat it. Okay. Uh -huh. It is um, a little different than I would. Um, it's not super done. Okay. Is so I'm going to. No, you know what? This is how much I like you. Watch this. Stop okay. Stop it, Kelly. Uh huh. The sacrifices you make for true friendship. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a little like mm -hmm. different. It's one. a little different from what you're used to, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's pretty good. See? Mm-hmm. I'm going in. Go there's in. no there's no cute way to eat there's this. There's no cute there. way you to eat it. You just gotta just do it. Unhinge your jaw. Really <laughs> unhinge your jaw. Mm. <laughs> All right, well I hope everyone in our house seats has been taking notes because in honor of barbecue season, you're all getting a Power XL indoor smokeless grill. It's great for steaks, veggies, fish, and so much more. Grill and griddle practically anything, any day of the year, virtually smoke-free. Oh, thank you so much, Danielle. Thank you for having me. I love having I drinks just love and you cooking guys. with you. I love it. Olivia, oh, nice nailed it. You. Thank you very much. Nailed it. Did Danielle's it. cookbook is called Rustic Joyful Food, meant to share, and her Instagram at Rustic Joyful Food is hilarious and loaded with simple recipes. Yep, I'm still here, just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.